What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com, and today I'm excited to announce the release of version 4 of my master playbook file for NCAA Football 06. So this video, I'm just going to do a quick rundown of some of the formations and plays that were uh, updated for version 4, along with how to access all these files. So here we are on the main website, PlaybookGamer.com. If you hover over PC Gaming, go to NCAA Football Playbook Editor, which is this page right here. The first link goes to the editor itself. You need to download that and use it in order to install these files. The playbook files list, that goes to my folder that has all of my files, which we'll look at here in a minute. You scroll down. This is my playlist of everything regarding the editor itself. The very first video is the most important one. This is by Josh, who created the editor. Uh, it gives you the instructions on how to go through all that stuff. It's really good. And the rest of that is my uh, videos regarding this, including a live stream that I've done recently on version 4. And this video will be in this playlist as well. So if you go and click on Playbook Files, it's going to bring up this folder right here. This is where I keep all of my personal files for you to use. At the very top, we got the older Playbook Files folder. That's where I keep the older ones, as you see here, version 1, 2, and 3. You go back. Uh, this is the PG Master Changes list. We'll look at that here in a little bit. This is the Air Raid version 1 file I created months ago. I haven't really touched it since. It's still there if you need it. If I ever do a version 2, I'll just move this file up here. But this is what everybody came for. Version 4 of the Master Playbook file. There it is for you to use. And let's go to the changes list. This shows you everything I've done for version 4. Just to kind of give you a recap of the formations, which we're going to look at here in a little bit. So there is that. Now let's head over to the game. I'll just show you which formations that I have touched for version 4. It's all under center. We got a slot, a slot trips, a spread, I slot, pro slot, pro twins, for those of you who are in the West Coast stuff. Then you got flex bone slot, flex bone split, and flex bone twins. So not so common formations you, unless you're just really into the triple option flex bone stuff, and or if you're into the West Coast old school look, with the pro formations. I really like some of those now. They're even better with some of the changes I've made. And if you just do some random pro style stuff from under center using some of these formations right here. So if you go to like the A slot, just see some newer things. You know, flanker middles got some new rounds. That's the biggest thing. I always update the plays. Pass play wise, I usually just change routes just to make the concept better. I rarely have to overhaul something. Uh, slot scene, for example, I just made one simple change to the tight end. Instead of blocking, now he runs a drag route. Gives you some an extra uh, option there. Deep outs, I've done a little hitch, and so on and so forth. You could just see so many of the changes that I have made, hopefully for the better. And that's one of the best things about updating all this is the CPU gets access to these plays as well, which it just makes them play a whole lot better. From what I've seen, and I've been using my master playbook files for ever since the beginning, and I just see the offense play better because of them. I'm removing the bad plays, which increases them picking better plays. Ace wide trips is another example, some really good combinations of rounds. I mostly change passing plays. My first couple of versions of the Master Playbook file were more running oriented. I fixed a lot of those. Here's one I'm really excited about, Flanker Screen. I updated it, gave an extra blocker for the receiver, but I now have a nice little wheel route for the halfback, get your cover zero beater with a backside slant out. And you keep on going, for example, a spread, a very popular formation. I've always enjoyed it now. I've made it a little bit better in some spots. Like some of the bigger things is, let me pick one out. For example, the play action PA rollout, I gave it the better play action motion. It's quicker. You can flip it without any issues. Just a little things like that that make things a whole lot better. I formation slot got a nice little uh, update. One thing, you know, a lot of the play actions didn't work all that great. I fixed those. Maybe not PA boot. There was like PA fullback seam is one. I made sure that was updated. Give you a, you know, a little slant out. A little better than what it was before. Stretch. Look at all the route spacing here. Just really good stuff right here. I've noticed a theme with this particular version 4 is very fullback centric. I was able to get the fullback going a little bit more than usual with some of these changes. I'm really excited about slants, for example. That's a left hash play because you got a short side zone beater with this slant route. But this flare route by the fullback can get wide open via picks by these slants against man. Then you got a deeper post than what was there before. Just a whole lot better play. 
slot fade. Everybody sees this now in college football and in the NFL, the old slot fade. Well, now you have some of that there. And a little halfback screen. This is another cool example. If you got a, a dynamic fullback or a backup halfback, you can use with your twin halfback sub package. I got him on a fade route in case you do see that cover zero. Just a nifty little combo there. Keep on going. You got pro slot. Now I'm more excited to fool around with the old West Coast stuff again because this formation now is more doable. We know wide receiver middle slants is now a little bit better. Slot corner, I gave this, uh, I think this was like a dig. I gave it a comeback, a little bit safer route, things like that. Uh, one good example is fullback dive. Before, this halfback was going this direction, and if they're going man, his defender gets crowded up in here, which you don't want. I'm just trying to alleviate the pressure in the box for your fullback to make play. So this play is even a little bit better now. You keep on going. Let's see, PA Ohio. There weren't a whole lot of good play action concepts in this formation. Now there is. We got PA Ohio there. Then uh, there's another one, if I'm not mistaken. PA fullback. Same works really well. Again, here's the fullback running a little wheel. Really nifty play against cover zero. The linebacker won't know where to hit him. Then you got a fullback screen. Again, notice the theme of a lot of this. A lot of fullback oriented stuff. RB swing looks really good. This used to be RB cross. I added two swings instead. I just think the round spacing is a little bit better. And so on and so forth. Then you got pro twins. Pretty much the same adjustments here. You just got a slightly different formation. RB clear out is really cool. Again, I got a fullback wheel. Then uh, halfback screen, I updated that. RB cross, I left that in there, but I think I made one change. I think I made a deep cross there. I just was curious to see how these work. And they still work fine if anybody likes that concept. Uh, power option is another thing I actually adjusted in the pro formations. The fullback does a block and he kind of stops right there while I extended his block out. You should get better blocking out of this particular play. Uh, tight end corner was like one of the very few plays where I didn't have to touch. It's really good. And again, here's another running back or halfback wheel route. Just some really nifty route combinations that I love to experiment with. Let's go to Flexbone Slot. You got uh, webs, uh, wide receiver middle. I just gave a little flat right here. I think it was a delayed route before. I gave it a deeper dig. Just give a better, again, route spacing. Then you got PA row right. A little some changes there. Curl flats. I let this fullback get him involved in the passing game. Then you have AB fade. Now, this is another thing I really did with a lot of the flex bone run plays. I renamed a lot of them. Anytime it was a wing back this, wing back that, now it's A B. That's A back. That's what that means. So if you ever see a B B, and this is one I gotta fix, I can go in here and change it later. Fullback option, it needs to be B B option. And then B B thing. Uh, I'll go back again. I can change that. You see right here, B B counter. I can go back and fix that uh, before you guys see this video. But again, really cool stuff. Here's vertical. That's an adjustment. See A B sweep, A B lead, things like that. Here is a B B screen. Just really neat stuff. You go to Flexbone Split. A lot of the same things from what you just saw. Uh, name changes, a route change here and there. PA tight end drags, really nasty. A lot of crossing routes and such. Tight end wheel. Again, I'm getting a lot of these ancillary uh, guys some love here. The fullbacks and the tight ends and such. Just really nasty stuff that you could play with. Last but not least, we can look at Flexbone Twins. PRE, this one's a little bit better now. You got a really good man beater with this tight end off that play action. QB sweep is another concept I fixed. It used to have like a pulling guard. That guard didn't really help you all that much, so I just gave him a better run blocking route. Now you should be able to run that play just a little bit better. Uh, BB sting, AB lead. Again, you're going to see a lot more of that. PA slot cross. I don't think I had to change much to that. Ghost. This is, I think this was like a post or a scissors concept. I just changed it to the ghost concept. I think you'd get more out of it. That way, plus that formation didn't have that concept. Then you got corners, and then you got, this used to be, I think, wide receiver corners. Now I just called it corners because I gave this tight end a corner route as well. You got a slot screen, triple wide receiver option, and just so on and so forth. Just a bunch of really good stuff. I'm really excited to fool around with this even more. I've tested them all. They all seem pretty fine to me, but I know you're going to get a lot of enjoyment out of them too. All right, guys, hopefully this was helpful, and I'll talk to you later.